Sirius, what are some of the creepiest declassified documents made available to the public? Operation Northwoods. Proposed false flag attacks against American civilians targets carried out by the CIA and blamed on Cuba in 1962. Thankfully JFK said duck no and shut that shit down. Apparently, JFK even demoted the guy who proposed this on the spot. Thank God. Also, this means that this idea had to go through a long chain of command with many high-ranking people in the government aging to it. Do you know if this was when Alan Dulles was still running the CIA? If so, I'm not entirely surprised, him and John Foster Dulles were some bizarre figures who enacted all sorts of problematic plans under Eisenhower. Dulles briefly lingered under JFK, if memory serves, but I think it was the Bay of Pigs that finally got him the boot. The Brothers by Stephen Kinzer does a great job of giving a biography of them and their actions under Eisenhower, Alan Dulles was head of the CIA, while his brother was Secretary of State, and it was a dangerous combination that led to the US supporting the overthrow of governments through a series of coups in places like Guatemala, Jacobo Arbenz, Iran, Hamid Mossadegh, Indonesia, Sukarno, and the Congo, Patrice Lumumba. Operation Lack Biological Warfare Testing Done on Us Cities. Principally, the operation involved spraying large areas with zinc cadmium sulfide which is very toxic. Many who were affected died of cancer and the testing was never followed up on. Most of the neighborhood's genetic makeup was ducked up for no reason and no apologies were made. My mom told me one time she was living in California, they stated they were spraying to get rid of fruit flies gnats. They woke up and all the fish in their tanks were bleeding out their eyes and she also had a miscarriage a week later. That story always stuck with me and made me wonder. What in the shit did I just read? The reason that insane conspiracy theories can so easily take root, because reality can be so much worse. Ted Kaczynski, the Unabomber, was subjected to grueling degrading psychological experiments while he was an underage student at Harvard. Anything involving Japan's Unit 731 during World War II. It was a military chemical and biological warfare division that experimented on POWs. The bit that gets me about this is that they got away with it, the US have them immunity in return for their records. Project Pluto is pretty horrific, the proposed use for nuclear-powered ramjets would be to power a cruise missile, called SLAM, for supersonic low-altitude missile. In order to reach ramjet speed, it would be launched from the ground by a cluster of conventional rocket boosters. Once it reached cruising altitude and was far away from populated areas, the nuclear reactor would be made critical. Since nuclear power gave it almost unlimited range, the missile could cruise in circles over the ocean until ordered down to the deck for its supersonic dash to targets in the Soviet Union. The SLAM, as proposed, would carry a payload of many nuclear weapons to be dropped on multiple targets, making the cruise missile into an unmanned bomber. After delivering all its warheads, the missile could then spend weeks flying over populated areas at low altitudes, causing tremendous ground damage with its shockwave and fallout. When it finally lost enough power to fly, and crash-landed, the engine would have a good chance of spewing deadly radiation for months to come. Hashtag X200B. Source, n.wikipedia.org Wikiproject Pluto. I think there was a lot of creepy things that came out when the East German Stasi files were released after the Berlin Wall fell. All citizens were allowed to view their own files and many were shocked to find out that their own relatives were informing on them, because they had no choice, and various other things. A good movie about this is called Other People's Lives Edit, I got the name of the movie wrong. It's the lives of others. The JFK assassination documents never fully being released as they keep getting pushed back. The documents themselves are creepy in the sense of how contradicting they are. But what makes it truly creepy is the full release keeps getting pushed back. They've gotta be hiding something in there. Gay bomb. It was a weapon speculated by the USA in the 90s that, when dropped, would release pheromones which would make the enemy attracted to each other. Edit, spelling. I love the idea that the enemy would just stop fighting a war and get their duck on. I mean, shouldn't we all at least give it a try? Therese one where the CIA essentially was researching astral projection and its possible applications for espionage. Project Stargate. They also wanted to disarm enemy troops with psychic hugs. There is a list somewhere on on web of the last words of inmates punished by death in Texas. Goodbye warden. Ah, uh, I don't know, um, I don't know what to say. I don't know. 
Pauses, I didn't know anybody was there. Howdy. James strong words from James, really ducking hit me hard. My favorite was profanity directed towards staff. MK Ultra. The CIA performing illegal experiments on Americans to try to develop mind control. MK Ultra was never declassified, it was leaked, and the CIA destroyed all documents surrounding it. As all good governments should. S just in case. Memo from Roger Boisjoli on Oring Erosion, months prior to the Space Shuttle Challenger disaster. He essentially predicted, and forewarned, that the rocket O-rings would fail if the shuttle launched in cold weather. Wasn't he blackballed for this or coming public with it? My dad is an engineer and has an article about this in his office as a reminder of his obligation to do the right thing no matter the cost. I think he actually regretted not being more vocal about it because it haunted him the rest of his life. As far as I know he never hesitated to voice it and someone who he tried to report this to simply didn't care. I don't know that it was classified, but the audio tape recorded by the toy box killer was leaked. David Ray was a US serial killer who tortured, sexually assaulted, and murdered women with electric generators, surgical blades, saws, syringes, etc. He mounted a mirror to the ceiling so they had to watch. He had a recorded audio tape that he would play for victims once they regained consciousness for the first time. The transcript is here. The toolbox killers are a separate pair of serial killers who similarly raped, tortured, and killed women. They also made tape recordings of their crimes. Shirley Ledford's tape is the most well-known one, you can hear them telling her to scream, the killers breaking her elbow with a sledgehammer, and her asking to die near the end. During the trial the killers claimed it was role-playing and only evidence of a threesome. Shirley's mother had to identify her daughter's voice on the tape. The full tape was not released, but the transcript was. They used the toolbox audio tapes to desensitize new FBI agents during training. Not really a document but a case that the Soviet Union tried to hide for a while, the Nazino affair. Here is part of a eyewitness reported about it hashtag X200B, they were trying to escape. They asked us where's the railway? We'd never seen a railway. They asked where's Moscow? Leningrad? They were asking the wrong people, we'd never heard of those places. We're Ostiax. People were running away starving. They were given a handful of flour. They mixed it with water and drank it and then they immediately got diarrhea. The things we saw. People were dying everywhere, they were killing each other. On the island there was a guard named Kostya Venikov, a young fellow. He fall in love with a girl who had been sent there and was courting her. He protected her. One day he had to be away for a while, and he told one of his comrades, take care of her, but with all the people there the comrade couldn't do much really. People caught the girl, tied her to a poplar tree, cut off her breasts, her muscles, everything they could eat, everything, everything. They were hungry, they had to eat. When Kostya came back, she was still alive. He tried to save her, but she had lost too much blood. Yeah I looked it up. Basically 6,000 people were on an obscure island in Siberia, ran out of food, and resorted to cannibalism. Spooky. If you're resorting to cannibalism it still doesn't mean you should leave the person that you're eating alive. Ducking scum. Seriously, we don't ducking leave our pigs and cows alive while we eat them. Why wouldn't they just put her out of her misery? It's not right, but I'm guessing they felt she was betraying her community by dating a man who was part of why they were suffering and wanted to send a message to others in the community. Ada, also wanted to say when humans are starving their brain just doesn't function properly. Emotional responses are out of whack, confused and disoriented, and usually start making bad choices as it continues, and add that to the craziness that is angry mob mentality. Groupthink often drives crazy mobs. This FBI investigate and file titled Animal Mutilation. Back in the 1970s 80s, the media's attention was drawn to some anomalies taking place not only on American cattle farms, but all over the world. Cow corpses were being discovered in fields, missing organs, with surgical holes in their sides, with no blood. For a brief time, this was passed off as a strange coincidence. But eventually, the public got so worked up that the FBI commissioned an investigation. Six months and $45,000 later, they found nothing. Nothing. No trace of a person, machine, alien, anything. Everyone was left hanging, but strangely, it died down. 
The reports of animal mutilations have simply stacked up to since then and to this day there have been excessive 10,000. The removal of cow vulvas and bull dongs caused speculation that weirdos were involved. Didn't know dong was a technical term. Or weirdo. I wonder if the author spent some time trying to formalize that language, then said duck it no one's even going to read this. The WikiLeaks documents about PRISM and about the smart device hacking methods along with how to set said devices into a false-off mode. Every cell phone without a removable battery could easily may already have this.